This is lecture three on layers for AutoCAD in landscape design. I want you to take a look at the screen and you'll notice that the objects that we've been working on are all a um, magenta purple color and they have um, all the same line weights to them. But if you zoom back and look at the full picture of your OH um, exercise project one, you'll notice that their lines have different colors and line types to them. The way that you do that most efficiently is through layers and layer properties. If you go to the layers um, area on your ribbon, you can click on layer properties to get a screen that shows you all of the attributes of layers within this drawing. What you're seeing here is the name of a layer and whether it is visible or not or frozen or not. If it's locked, which means um, you can add to it or delete from it. The color of its line type on the screen, its line type, which is different. Um, so we have some fence lines and different types of dashes and dots that you can work with. The line weight is giving you um, the thickness of the line, kind of like with drawing with a pencil. Does your line have transparency? So is it a solid line or is there any sort of screening to it? Our plot style is how it's going to print out. And plot means will it plot or will it not? So if you um, choose to not have it plot. When we um, get to viewports, we can talk about viewport freezing. When you're looking at your um, layers, you'll notice that the one with the green check has, um, is the, that's gonna be your current layer that you're using to draw with. Up here at the top of the screen, you'll see that you get a new layer by clicking on the stack of papers with the sun. You can um, freeze a new layer, which makes it invisible on the screen. You can delete a layer now this only um, works and works best if you have no objects on that layer and it's an unused layer. And then set current, that's gonna be the line that you are using to draw. Now I've organized a few layers here. We have um, A for the building and my abbreviation A would be for architecture, L and um, that's gonna be for landscape. We have concrete, fence, hatch, shrubs, topography, trees. I keep it really simple and I give names to each of these layers and they are um, really based on the materials that are being used. You can turn a layer on or off. So if you turn it off, you won't see any of the objects within that layer. Within that layer. If you choose to freeze the layer, you cannot do that on the current layer. Let's see if we do another one. That will make it not visible on the screen. So let me show that to you. So we've frozen the layer concrete and unfrozen the layer concrete. Did you see the dash, um, the flash of the cyan colored lines? Try it with the fence off and on. Locked and unlocked is going to mean that you can modify that layer or not. Sometimes it's really helpful to have some layers that are locked such as maybe the building. That way when you are working on that layer you won't accidentally delete or um, turn off any of the lines that you're working with. The color of the line has a couple of different meanings. So it can be the color that is displayed on the screen, which it will be. Um, it also categorizes all of the different layers into um, a single um, entity. So let's say that you have your um, A building and the color of that line is magenta. You can create many other layers that are also the color magenta and they will all have the same thickness when plotted if you use a certain plotting style. Now you have 
um, hundreds of colors to choose from. When I'm choosing colors to set a layer, I choose from the index colors 1 through 9. Now this helps me because I make these um, in my plotting styles a thickness. So this will be a thin line. We'll get thicker and thicker all the way through to magenta. Back down to 7 is a lighter weight line. 8 is going to be a grayscale line with some thickness. And 9 is a thin and lighter grayscale line. This is just a system, a system that I've set up, and um, it's rather common in offices to have certain plot styles that they have set up. And if you adhere to those plot styles, you can work a little bit faster within the computer program. Now, if you want to move along further, um, these will be used more often in our case for using actual colors. Um, within a color drawing, which is much easier to do these days with the cost of color printing reduced greatly and the ability to show our drawings on a screen rather than always having them printed out. So sometimes we are using these index colors and even true colors and um, colors from um, presets such as Pantone. Um, we can use those to get a much better version of a color that we'd like to use on the screen. We'll get back to that and when we work on color. I'm going to hit OK for now. Line types, go back to where we were. Okay. Line types, our default is continuous, so it's really just a straight line. When um, you're creating a drawing, it's really helpful to have different types of lines. You know that from hand drafting. So we have a dashed line loaded in here and a fence line loaded in here. Now there's a ton more that you can add if you click the load button and scroll through the options that you have here. And you can select to add any of these lines to your drawing. So now we have hidden added and we'll hit OK for that one. Our line weight's a place where we can set the thickness of a line. So you can do that through color, or you can do it through line weight. If you do it through color, you're going to have to relate it to a plot style later on in the plotting process. If you do your lines right here, you can um, go ahead and decide the thickness that your line will be printed, and it can be related purely to the layer and with no bearing to the color at all. And so this gives you a thicker or thinner line when it's printed. You can also display it on the screen. If you go down here, and I know it's not highlighting because I'm already in another command, but this thick and thin line will just show you the thickness of your line weights on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and and um, when we get to that point, we'll assign these some different line weights. Transparency allows this line to be um, semi-screened, which is very helpful, especially if you've done um, screening in your drawings in the past, uh, maybe printing on the back or using gray, something like that. Um, our plot style, this will be the um, color that it's plotting. Plot will be if it's plotted or it is not plotted. So you can turn off some of your layers so you can see them on your screen, they can guide layers, but you don't necessarily need to um, print them out in the drawings. This gives you an opportunity to kind of sketch on your um, plan or do some layout lines or notations that you don't want to share. Okay, so let's go through and I'll demonstrate creating a new layer. So it's coming up as layer one. Let's create a new layer and we will call it L, and it'll be ground cover. And we'd like it to be on. We'd like it to be unfrozen, unlocked. And let's give ground cover a color. I'd like for it to be yellow. And hit OK. The line type is fine as continuous. The line weight, we're leaving that. Actually, we were going to change that. Here we go. For default, 
Again, I said um, my line weights generally go from red to magenta as the thinnest to the thickest. So if we have a um, yellow line, that should be second to the thinnest line that we're working with. So I'm going to give it a 0.13 millimeters and hit OK. And let me take this a little bit more in order so that's a bit more helpful for you. So we'll start with red and make that the thinnest line that we're using, which will be 0.09. Yellow is 0.13. Let's go down to green. Let's make that one 0.18. And we have a thicker one at 0.20 and a thicker one still at 0.25, let's do 0.30. Now nine, we want that to be our thinner of the lines that we were choosing, so 0.13 will work, and eight, we wanted that to be a little bit thicker, so let's do that one at a 0.30, and hit OK. So if you'll see my screen here, we have a variety of thicknesses set up based on what I'd like to see on the screen and how they will print out. So I'm going to close this layer box and turn on our line weights. You see automatically those are getting um, thicker, thicker on the screen. And you can unclick our line weight button and make it thicker and thinner. I'm going to pause for a minute and we'll move on in our demonstration section.